In today's video, we will see how to simulate a three-phase voltage source inverter with 120 degree mode conduction. Aim is to plot the waveform of VAN, VPN, VCN with output frequency 50 Hz with a star connected load and VVC of 450 volt with resistance 300 ohms. And at last, we will calculate the PHD of VCN. In order to begin with, open the MATLAB window. First, we need a continuous block. So go to view, select library browser, and then search GUI to get continuous block. Add the block to the model. And then we need MOSFETs for voltage source inverter. So search MOSFET in library browser, and then add the MOSFET to the model. We need to give pulse to the MOSFET. So pulse generator is a requirement. So search for pulse generator and add pulse generator to the model. Series RLC branch is also required. So search for it in the library browser and then add it to the block. So let's begin with the connections. In order to rotate the MOSFET, use Control and R. To flip MOSFET, click on the right side of the mouse and then search, rotate and flip. Then click flip block and then left to right. We need six such MOSFETs. And then connect to the MOSFETs. Each MOSFET should have a pulse generator and pulse generator should be connected to the gate of the MOSFET. Since we have a star connected load, we have to make a connection in the form of star. We need a R load. So double click on the series RLC branch and on branch type select R with 300 ohms. So give connection to the first resistor with phase A and then connect next resistor with phase B and then with phase C. And the other side of the resistors should be connected to the ground. So again, go to view, click library browser and search for ground. Then add the ground to the block to the model untitled. And then we also need a DC voltage source. So search for it and add to the model. DC voltage source should be of 450 volt. Connect DC voltage source with the voltage source inverter. Connect ground with the star load. And then we need voltage measurement blocks 
txt block scope and display so go to view click on library browser and first find voltage measurement block add to the model search for scope search for THD block and then we need to display Since we need to measure the voltages on each phase, we need three voltage measurement blocks. Positive of the voltage measurement block is connected to one phase and negative is connected to the ground. Similarly, the next voltage measurement block is connected, positive connected to the B side, negative connected to the ground. C phase also has a voltage measurement block with positive side connected to C phase and negative side connected to the ground. We need a scope. Scope should have three inputs. So select scope, choose signals and ports, click number of input ports and change it to three. You can enlarge the scope, connect the scope with voltage measurement blocks. And then we need to find the THD of the C phase. So connect the THD block. To view the result, connect display block to the THD. Now let us give inputs to pulse generator. Since we are dealing with 120 degree conduction, to find pulse width, we have to express 120 degree as a percentage of total. Here, total actually means 360 degree. To find pulse width, so we can write equation as 120 by 360, which is the total into 100, which will be 33.33%. So this is the pulse width for pulse generators. And when we are going on to the pulse generator one, to find phase delay, we have to express again it as 360 degree corresponding to time period T. If 360 degree corresponds to time period T, for 1 degree, it will be T by 360. For 0 degree, it will be T by 360 into 0. We actually told at the beginning that T equal to 1 by 50 hertz. So, when we substitute 1 by 50 for T, equation becomes 1 by 50 into 0 by 360. Each MOSFETs should be turned on after 60 degree interval. After zero degree, next pulse generator should have a difference of 60 degree. Similarly, as for pulse generator one, for 360 degree, we have time period T. So for one degree, it is T by 360. And for 60 degree, it is T by 360 into 60. And substitute one by 50 for T. For pulse generator three, it is turned on after 60 degree of interval after 60 degree. So the total degree of conduction will be 120 degree. Corresponding to 360 degree, it is time period T. So for 120 degree, it will be T by 360 into 120, where T is 1 by 50 hertz. Again, after 60 degree, it is 180. So the phase delay will be T by 360 into 180 and substitute 1 by 50 for T. Pulse generator 5 will be turned on after 240 degree. So equations T by 360 into 240 where T is 1 by 50 hertz. Pulse generator 6 will be turned on after 300 degree. So the phase delay is T by 360 into 300 where T is 1 by 50 hertz. Now let us give input to the pulse generators in MATLAB. In pulse generator 1, 
we know pulse width is 33.3, phase delay is zero. And this is the pulse generator two. Pulse width is 33.33 and phase delay is T by 360 into zero, where T is one by, it's not actually zero, it is 60. So one by 50 into 60 by 360. This is the pulse generator three. We know pulse width is 33.3. Phase delay, instead of 60, it is 120. And then go for pulse generator four. Pulse width is 33.3. Phase delay is 0 is over, 60 is over, 120 is over. So next will be 180. And then this is pulse generator 5, where pulse width is 33.33. And phase delay is 240 instead of 60. At last, Pulse generator six with pulse width 33.33. Phase delays instead of 60 degree by 300 degree. You also have to give time period. Time period is one by 50. For pulse generator two, Time period is 1 by 50. Similarly, give for all the pulse generators. Let us simulate. Click on simulation and choose run. Now let us zoom the output. So this is the required output. Thank you.